Welcome back. In today's KX Conversation, we're joined by U.S. Attorney for North Dakota, Drew Wrigley. Thank you for joining us. Glad to be here. Thanks. So, Drew, late last week you announced 26 people are now facing federal charges in connection with illegal opioid trafficking between Detroit, Michigan, and three North Dakota Indian reservations. Tell us about that. Well, it's a familiar pattern, all too familiar pattern in law enforcement here in the state of North Dakota has become, and we've uh, really focused our resources on doing everything we can to dry up, uh, clog up those arteries of distribution here in the state. Um, what we found is there's a pattern of very significant uh, dealers coming out of largely the Detroit area. Uh, they're moving massive amount of these pills, opioids, and synthetics uh, out into, uh, into the state. And uh, all too often, they're finding their platforms here, connecting with people here, using their, uh, their relationships to move significant amount of these, uh, uh, these narcotics uh, into Indian country, which has traditionally been an underserved area uh, for law enforcement on the ground. So we're, uh, we're very pleased by the results of this, but I want people to understand it's part of an overarching uh, approach in our in our federal prosecutions that's bearing great fruit but this isn't uh, by any means the very first and it's not going to be the last no no you said you mentioned that this was millions of dollars mm -hmm. works worth of oxycodone um, 17 North Dakotans were charged tell me why why do you think they wanted to traffic in the uh, Indian reservations here in the Peace Guard state because they got a, they've got a premium on it the the, the pills uh, the the very same pill will get you about a $20 premium probably here in North Dakota uh, especially out in Indian country and uh, you know it's all it's all about the profit they also have found I think that in Indian country here in North Dakota and elsewhere you've got uh, underserved populations when it comes to law enforcement you have got about 40 percent of the BIA officers that you should have uh, out in these lands. That, that means not as much enforcement uh, traditionally, but I think we've upped that pretty significantly. Uh, this case is a, an important first step. The, top, the two top players are from Detroit, and they're facing mandatory 20-year sentences in this case. Uh, the people uh, down further down the distribution chain, we're getting some cooperation. We're hoping for even more. And uh, that's, that's the name of what we're trying to do here, clog those arteries. Uh, here at the local level, clogged the pipeline coming in from Detroit and other areas, and, and we're making significant progress. But this isn't by any stretch the, uh, the end. I was yeah. telling you before, we just had another case this weekend. I won't go into the details of it, but uh, we got a very significant six figures uh, of value, of street value of pills, um, tens of thousands of dollars in cash. Uh, there's too many folks feeding into that pipeline. Our job is to continue to, to clog it and uh, eradicate it eventually. So the fight is far from over. Fight's far from over, but uh, we're fully engaged, and we, uh, I appreciate our, our federal, state, local, tribal law enforcement partners. That's the critical nature of it, um, what we're doing, and we're going to continue to prioritize this uh, up ahead. I, I see there'll be, there'll be benefits to come. And uh, the biggest benefit, right, is to make these narcotics more scarce, more expensive, tougher to get. Uh, in Indian country and everywhere else in our state, as I told you, there are no boundaries on this. This is a statewide problem. These are our brothers and sisters right now in Indian country being underserved. Our job is to do what we've done, is step up that enforcement and get the benefit of it uh, and the, to drive, hopefully, a dropping trend in the addiction rates in this state and, and all the carnage that comes from this. U.S. Attorney Drew Wrigley, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. And thank